Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. And we're going to do a request. Now, the request came in kind of strange. Um, I had done a reaction to the song Black Friday by Steely Dan. And I said I was looking for another song that used the name Black Friday in its title. And I, and I couldn't find another one. Well, there's a YouTuber that follows my videos and, and comments quite often that goes by the name of 428 Chase. Well, 428 Chase listed a whole list of different videos with the word black in it, but not Friday. So I, I, I commented back, I wrote back to 428 Chase and said, I was looking for Black Friday. Well, his reply to me was this. Yeah, I know, but I just got a little nuts with it. I mainly just wanted to get your attention with Budgie Black Velvet Stallion and then gives me a link. So it's like, oh, you want me to do a reaction to a Budgie song. Now, I've never heard Budgie. I've, I remember their album covers. Um, they had great album covers. They were kind of like futuristic. They've always had a bird's head, uh, like a bird, uh, a budgie is a bird, had, had, has a bird head on whatever figures they had on the cover of their albums. And they usually had the word budgie in, in kind of cool script or, or a cool font. And, and I just remember the albums, but I never bought any. I, I just didn't know what they were about. I thought, Budgie, what, what are they about? Well, they're a Welsh band that formed in 1967. They broke up in 1987, but reformed again in 1999 and then toured. Well, they put out quite a number of albums. And the song that um, is being requested, Black Velvet Stallion, comes from their album from 1976 called If I Were Britannia, I'd Wave the Rules. So again, I've never heard this band. So I, I looked them up. They said they're really, really, really heavy metal. So I thought, well, that's kind of cool. I mean, I didn't know they're heavy metal. I, I kind of thought they, they did space rock or, or progressive rock just from the covers of their albums. But it says they're heavy metal. And they said that they're kind of a cross between Rush and and Black Sabbath. So that would be a combination that I'd have to hear. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to Budgie doing the song Black Velvet Stallion. So here we go with that particular tune. And this is going to be new to me. This is going to be new. Okay, what I've heard so far, I like the, the bells in the beginning. It does remind me of Black Sabbath uh, from the first album, the song Black Sabbath. And then gets into this heavy bass guitar. And the bass guitar really stands out. And you have some uh, electric guitar in there, but it's just kind of, you know, they're just kind of playing a chord, just playing a chord. And then the vocals come in, and the vocals are a little different. Um, where I can see where they'd say this sounds a little bit like Rush. I mean, the vocals are a little bit like Getty Lee, um, but but yet different. So it, it's 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 got kind of a strange vocal sound to it. 
And now this is a three-man band too. This is this is a, a, a trio: uh, guitar, bass, and drum. And they said sometimes they include an organ player, but mostly it's it's just those three instruments. So let's see where this goes. Um, I like what I'm hearing so far. I like that heavy bass in there. That that's really nice. Here we go. I really like it. They've done this a couple of times where they've come out of the verse of the song and then they do 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 with the heavy guitar. I really like that sound. That was really great. And I, I they had that short instrumental break in there with the guitar solo. Wow. <laughs> he shred that guitar. That was great. Wow. So far, very, very nice. Very nice. Come.
Okay. It had a day in the life ending. <laughs> kind of cool. Kind of stopped. The guitar stopped. And then bang. I don't know what they banged on. And then it just faded out. Kind of like the grand piano um, in the Beatles' A Day in the Life when they kind of ended that song. They hit the piano key and it just faded out. So we have the same type of, of ending here on Black Velvet Stallion. So this reminded me more of Taste, Rory Gallagher and Taste, because of, of the rhythm section. It had that constant beat with that bass guitar and the drum. And it was really, it, they could almost sample that and play that through a computer as a sample because it just was the same beat over and over throughout the whole song, which was kind of cool because it, it kind of held that song together. And then between the vocals and the guitar, those were the two pieces that kind of uh, went their own way, uh, especially the guitar because they had two pretty good, uh, pretty pretty great um, instrumental breaks with that guitar playing. I, I really like the second instrumental break because because the guitarist kind of started out just playing some chords and then got into shredding the guitar. That was pretty cool. But like I say, I think this reminded me more of Taste. Now, not the vocals, but how the song was set up instrumentally. Uh, the vocals, again, uh, yeah, kind of a little bit like Rush, um, a little bit different vocal style than what you'd normally hear in a hard rock or heavy metal song. And, and I think this was more hard rock um than than i than I, what i would consider heavy metal but um yeah you know this is the only song i've ever heard by budgie was this particular track right here but i i, I liked it i mean it was it was good this is the type of music i would have listened to in the 70s but again uh there's only so many records i could buy and i saw these on the shelf and i i wasn't quite sure what they were about um because the album covers were all kind of like the album cover right here where they were kind of futuristic, kind of strange, and they always had the bird head on whatever kind of figures they had on the cover of the album. And then Budgie was always in some kind of um, font, uh, different style of, of font. But um, good stuff. I mean, I like this. I, I definitely would listen to more of Budgie um, now, now that I've, I've actually heard a track and uh, know, know what they're about. I mean, that's that's half the thing about the music. And that's why we have it so good today with the computers. We get to hear, and, and the internet streaming, we get to hear a lot of things without having to go out and purchase them. Back in, in uh, the 70s, if you didn't hear it on the radio, and, and, and Budgie was something I'd never heard on the radio, not here in the United States. Uh, I don't think they had a big fan following here in the United States. But um, it wasn't something that you heard on the radio. So it, to buy the album and take a chance, that was kind of tough because, you know, you can only buy so many albums and there was so many albums I wanted to buy. But I like this. This was really good. Love the guitar. The guitar was great. And like I said, the rhythm section was so, so like mechanical. It was just always following that same beat. They could have sampled that on a computer today and just played that sample over and over. But this was pretty interesting. I did like it. And like I said, um, it, it, it reminded me a lot of Rory Gallagher and Taste, uh, which was a band I, I, I did buy and I really did like. So I hope you like Budgie doing Black Velvet Stallion. If you did, hit that like button. That'd be really cool. If you have any comments about Budgie, the song Black Velvet Stallion, hey, put it in the comments below. That'd be really appreciated. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you've been rocking and rolling to my channel, please subscribe. And then go over here, ring that bell, and get updates to my latest videos. This is good. I, I, I liked it. I didn't know what to expect. I, I, I Like I said, I did read a little bit about them on the internet. So I'm going, okay, heavy metal, heavy metal, heavy, heavy metal. I'm expecting, you know, a lot of um, a, a lot of noise. But instead, I got something that was hard rock, more of a driving beat, and... Um, uh, uh, two really great guitar solos in the song. So this this was good. Put a big smile on my face. I hope put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby. <laughs>